All right, so I got a light on. I don't know why it's doing it. It's just like a new feature where the camera comes on, like low light situations. Um, so I don't know what's going on with that. So I want to try and pretend that it's not bothering the shit out of me, which it is. And I'll be interested to see once I get into the gym if this actually does or if I got to figure out how to do it. I've been having all sorts of technical difficulties lately. Um, Disclosure, mic is not working, so I played around with them all last night. The receiver is not receiving, which is the issue. So I have sent that back. I have another one on the way, so I'm going to be without a microphone for a couple days. So either one of two things. I'm going to talk loudly and sound like a fucking idiot in the gym with everybody else around. Or I may try something and just do a voiceover. So... But uh, again, technical problems consist, uh, consist, continue as we have a light that is on currently. So we're not going to let that affect us. Uh, we'll check that out some more at the gym. Uh, see what's going on there. Now, today is chest day. We're going in alphabetical order arms, back, chest, legs, shoulders. Uh, that's going to be my bro split. Is it going to work? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, a little bit slippery out today, too. It's snowing. Like, not much. It's like a dusting, but enough to just piss you off. Uh, but, um, so today I'm doing chest, and I don't think I'm doing any bench press. I'm going to do uh, some incline bench press, some incline dumbbell press. Uh, but other than that, I'm uh, hitting some other movements to engage the pectorals in a different fashion so that I'm not continually hitting bench and I'm going to see this is kind of an experiment to me as well is to see how that affects my bench when I come back now when I left my last bench I did uh, 245 for three reps so when I come back I'll see if my strength is improved and if I'm able to do more if not then I'm going to say okay well I'm definitely going to have to continue to have bench press in it if I want to continue my bench press Increase again. I believe I've said this before, but uh, 315 is my target weight right now. That's what I'm shooting for is my max bench press. Um, and I want to continue building up that, but that means I got to build up the triceps, I got to build up the shoulders, I got to build up the uh, pec major, pec minor. Um, so we're going to see what happens. We're going to have fun with that. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what else. I've also seen a few other things. There was just, there was just like, a, I may do this at the very end of my workout. It was about doing press and um, flies, kind of superset it all together, though, at different angles. And Dana is here super early. He, I know he's pissed that I've been beating him here. Um, but we're going to incorporate, um, incorporate those, see how it feels. Again, I'm not going to have any any um, sound. Well, I'm going to have sound, but it's going to suck. So, we're going to find out what happens and uh, go from there. Like I said, if I need to do some extra editing. I don't work nights right now. I'm currently not working nights. So, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. I want to have fun. See you in there. So, I got, uh, got my warm -up today. What I thought wouldn't be my first working set. It was 135 for 8 reps. Didn't feel great. So I did a quick warm up on the triceps and shoulders. But it didn't feel great, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going, see what happens. Hopefully nothing's wrong. And just cold weather and old bones. Yeah, I think I'll chalk it up to cold weather and old bones. That one actually felt really good. So I did bring my hand position in a more narrow grip, which seemed to also work better for my shoulders. Don't want to keep with that. Usually I go uh, on the 
guidelines. It's my middle finger, this time I brought it into my pinky. It's a little bit more narrow of a grip. I think that has something to do with it. It just, like I said, it feels better. Fucking good. Probably could have got one more. Decided to stop. Don't injure yourself. Well, I'll try to get bigger because I just want to seriously set you back. All right, so going up. I actually feel pretty good now that I got through that first couple sets. So. Pretty good. I think I want to do one more. Do one more set. <clears throat> so, as I was just saying, it's always great when I'm coming. I'm like, I'm pushing myself, and I think I'm doing a good job. But then you get these young kids come in, and they're like cranking out 25 like just nothing. That's kind of a ego killer. But you got to remember, everybody is uh, everybody is different. It fixed it. Oh shit, yeah. I'm gonna break it today. Somebody lost the bet. <laughs> uh, but, I uh, have 2025. So. It's, uh, it's, um, it's all about you and what you want to do, what you can do. You know? Don't chase anybody else. You know, push yourself past your limits. That's, that's the key point there. So. And then feel good about the way you do do. Alright, this is definitely the last round. 185, going for between six or eight. Just because I'm unsure, get down in the spot. Always be safe.
I'm gonna work on my stability. Doing a little bit too much sway for the balance. But overall, overall I'm okay with that. So I'm only two rounds in. Did the incline. No dips. I'm on the line. Fucking against. Be a good chest day, I can already tell. Round three. Round three. I know that my uh, range of motion could be a little bit better. Uh, it's going to come with getting used to this. Is again the first time I've done dips. Unassisted dips. I used to do machine dips all the time. This is unassisted, so uh, it's all on you. It's not on the machine to help you out. Oh, fuck. All right, round three. I feel a little bit of an extended rest right there because I was a little bit taxed. No, don't be afraid to take a little extra rest. I mean, I think they say three minutes in between you know, like major muscle groups that usually take one to two minutes. But you're feeling yes, I can take an extra little bit of time. It's just you. Fuck what everybody else says. Are feeling great. Alright, last round. I'm going to enjoy having those in my routine, but they doing what they should. So you guys may remember these from the random days. dumbbell decline flies really hits that lower pec actually really good enjoy these and you gotta remember if you don't like doing something don't do it and if you like doing it do it just don't over exert yourself don't get used to it keep it bearing Ugh. 
Uh, last set. Uh, I did 45. I'm gonna start to do curls. Those, a little rest pause, if you will. I was reaching failure. Just stop. Stop and keep going. See if you're at a true failure. That rest pause is really good. It's where you go to failure. You just take a quick break, you know, five seconds, and then keep going. Crank out a few more reps. Failures when you can. Physically lift that weight. Another rep. And sometimes the rest pause will take you from what you think is failure to your actual failure or to the target number that you're trying to hit. All right, now we're chest pressed. Okay, that's up. So basically mimicking a decline press. So again, going to hit the lower pectorals, and pectoral minor, if you will. Second round. And I, I don't know if you noticed, I went with the straight bar today instead of the cantilevered. Um, just to see if I like it more, if I don't like it more. Um, so far I'm kind of uh, neutral, I guess, on the subject. So I don't like the, the way it feels on my hands, I will say that. <coughs> set or uh, three more sets incline dumbbell to finish off I think we're going to go a little bit lighter on these still taxing but fuck it's been a tough one today all right so you missed the first set the clicker's in my pocket when you set them up set the weights on your knees like this I guess it puts them off so I uh doing it by hand for the next couple. I'm just having all sorts of technical issues.
was my last set. I'm still gonna go up on this. This is my last set of the day. I'm officially gassed. And this is how you should feel at the end of the workout. You wanna be like walking out of there. Like delirious. Just cause you kicked your own ass so freaking hard. I mean it feels great. And I still it's only like 8.36. I will not lie, my 22 push-ups today are going to be later in the day. They're not going to be early. I'm going to do them with my dogs harassing the shit out of me in my home. I'm so well get them in. So, incline press. I love these things. I, I put my hands at a little bit of a 45 degree angle. Makes it a lot easier on my shoulders. And because it's at the end of my session, I'm not getting up quite the weight that I want to but I'm still feeling it with the weight that I'm putting up. So let's do this I said. How you end the set? Oh my god. Oh. That was a fucking workout. Oh my god. That felt great. Finishing it off with those dumbbell presses. Uh, just really, I mean, I was out of juice beforehand. And like I said, I didn't get up as much weight. I'm still recovering. It's gonna this is gonna suck. <laughs> uh, but that's great. No, I feel really great. And I told somebody, uh, you know, and, and call me blasphemous or whatever you will, but the gym, that's my church. That's where I go to get right with God. That's where I go for my therapy sessions. You know, it's uh the gym is my sanctuary. That's where uh, that's where everything comes together for me. Start my day off. Get ready for the day. Put myself in a better mood. Sometimes I'll go to the gym in the middle of the day if I'm having like a really bad day, just to just to lift shit. No rhyme, no reason. Just just lift. Just to get those endorphins pumping and put me in a little bit better mood. Get my mind off shit. It's always great. So, uh, so yeah. Um, again, sorry about the microphone. We're going to be that way for a couple days. Uh, I have a new one that's on its way, and it's going to be here on Thursday, so, which is tomorrow. So, today and tomorrow. No mic. Sorry about the poor sound quality. I'm trying to speak up, I'm trying to talk more towards the camera, not walk away from the camera when I'm talking. I'm trying to not have it too far away. And hopefully it's working for now. So I'll get that new mic, get that running. So by Friday, which will be my be shoulders, tomorrow's leg day, Friday's shoulders off of pedicles. And we'll go from there. So, yeah, just uh, keep pushing yourself. Train harder. Train faster. It's you versus you. Like I said, I mean, there was a kid in there that was did three fifteen for five reps. Uh, I don't want to call him a kid. He didn't look like a kid. He looked like mid twenties. But. Uh, it's a little humbling, but in the same regard, I, uh, doesn't matter. That's, uh, that's where I want to be at some point, but right now, 
I'm at 245 for three reps, and I'm going to keep pushing to, to hit my 315 goal. I'm going to hit my goal of, you know, 240 pounds and 12% body fat. That's all I care about right now. I don't care what everybody else is doing. I'm going to go watch, uh, going to go watch the powerlifting competition at Norris this weekend. I'll try to take some video there. Um, but I don't care what somebody else is doing. It impresses me. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's not me. And you can't go into a gym and expect to do what I'm doing now if you've never been in a gym before. I can't go into the gym expecting to do what he's doing if I don't have the muscle mass for that yet. So work at your own pace. Push yourself. It's you versus you. Nobody else matters. Um, yeah, so you guys have a wonderful day. I'm pulling in. I don't know if I want to show before or after. Again, I'm working a lunch shift, so I think I'll wait until after. It is still technically snowing. A little, little itty bitty snowflakes, but we'll see what's going on. See you tomorrow for leg day.